Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is. Fish one. We got us a nice little turtle, guys. What is up everybody, Fishhawk here. Today I'm at the creek and I'm doing something a little different. Normally I'd have a rod and reel and I'd be fishing, but today I'm doing a survival fishing challenge. The only thing I can use today is this survival knife right here. It has fishing line, fishing hooks, and I think some sinkers in the handle of this knife. I'll show you guys that here in a minute, but we're going to imagine or pretend that I'm in a survival situation. Maybe my kayak upset and floated away. Maybe I was out hiking and got lost. Whatever the case may be, I need to find some food to survive. The water in this creek is very clean and there's also a lot of springs that feed into this creek. So I could find a spring and drink some water or worst case scenario, drink some water out of this creek and I'd probably be a-okay. So after we find water, the next thing is food and that's where this comes in. I'm going to attempt to catch some fish with only this knife. Should be fun, should be challenging. Stay tuned. All right guys, right here is the knife. It's got some nice little uh, saw teeth right here on the back and some smaller little serrations right here at the top and a nice uh, sharp blade and the handle here it unscrews and it's got a little compass right here which could be super useful inside the handle you have this little plastic tube and down in there there's a spring which basically just pushes this up out of there and this tube got all kinds of good stuff. So let's see what we got. Oh, don't want to drop that. We have some matches, six matches, a little striker for the matches, a band aid. We have one hook, one little hook, and a little bit of fishing line. This is what we're going to be using today. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this out. I'm going to put this back in the knife so it stays nice and dry because after we catch fish, we would have to cook it. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to cook fish today. But we want to keep the matches nice and dry. Now I have to somehow find some bait and uh, rig up some sort of a fishing pole. I need to go up here and find some sort of a fishing pole. I want something long and still green so it's flexible. I think I see the exact one that I want right up there. This should work. This knife is uh, pretty sharp. What do you guys think? I think that's gonna work great. Now the only thing I need to do is get the fishing line attached. All right, so what I've done here is I've just put a little notch on this side and a little notch on this side. That way when I tie the fishing line around there, it doesn't want to pull off the end. But I'm gonna have to tie a pretty good knot. Well, let's see how much fishing line they gave me. Looks like they gave me a decent bit, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this end here on the stick. I'm just gonna do an improved clinch knot. I'm not worried about the fish breaking this line because it's very thick, but I am kind of worried about a fish pulling the line off the end of the stick. Can't have that happen. Got the uh, got the fishing line tied there to the end. The only thing they didn't give me, which I'm a little upset about, is a sinker. But this water isn't very deep, so shouldn't have any issue. What I could do, if I'm good enough, is tie a small rock onto my line to give it some weight. Now I'm going to tie the hook on. Got the hook tied on. All right, I think my fishing rod is complete. Got quite a bit of line, at least a good 10, 12 feet. The only issue is gonna be casting it. I'm wondering if I should tie a small rock, 
see if I can tie a small rock right up here. Something like that right there. I think that's gonna work. Got a little rock as a sinker, about 10 inches, 12 inches above my hook. Now we gotta find some bait. Got one. Look at that, guys. Nice little worm. And if there's one there, there's probably more. I just spotted one right there. Got him. That's a good one, too. Look at him. Let's see what's under here, just for the heck of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Freaking jackpot. Look at this, guys. Big old worms. Three big ones right there. I don't know what this is. Some sort of a grub. Might work. Three worms and some kind of a grub. Definitely should be something over here. There's one. Pretty nice one. Oh yeah, there's a big one. See it right there? Oh my gosh, look at this worm, holy crap, and there's another one. Oh my gosh, guys, hit the mother load. That was a beast. I think we have plenty of worms now. I'm gonna get to fishing. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some good worms right there, guys. All right, guys, I just found this line sitting in the water. It was wrapped around that tree right over there, so I pulled it loose, and it is a ton of line. And look on the end of it. A split shot and a nice Helgramite. Looks like a Nico Helgramite and a one-aught wide gap worm hook. So technically I would be set. But being that this is a survival challenge, I mean, I'm not going to use this, but I very well could. That just goes to show if you're out in a survival situation, you could stumble across some, uh, some line, a hook, lure, split shot, all kinds of stuff. Just got to keep your eyes open and uh, pay attention. Now that I have my bait and my fishing rod rigged up, I'm going to search for some deeper water and hopefully find some fish. All right, time to get rigged up here. Got victim number one. This hook is very sharp, I will say that. So this is what I'm working with. We got a rock sinker and then we got our hook and worm right there. Should catch something, right? All right, I just walked downstream from that big ledge right up there. I wanna try this shade right here. Fish one. First fish of the day, guys. I knew that was gonna work. Right in the shade where I thought they would be. Not a big one, but man, if you were trying to survive, that'd be pretty tasty, wouldn't it? Let's let this guy go. Today's your lucky day, buddy. All right, guys. Heading down to another spot, that last spot. I only ended up catching one little bluegill. This spot down here is looking uh, looking kind of promising. I'm gonna try this big grub right here. Got him. Smally, came out from under that rock. Come on, get in the boat. I knew that grub was gonna work, guys. Look at that, the grub is Toast. Fish number two. We will be eating good today. 
Got a little bluegill and now a nice little smallmouth. He came out from under that rock right there. I saw him hiding under there and I tossed it right in front of that rock and let it drift right under the rock and he drilled it. We're gonna let you go, buddy. Oh, see ya. <laughs> there he goes, right back under his rock. This grub saved the day. I don't know what kind of grub it is, but that smallmouth really liked it. I saw a turtle over there swimming a minute ago. If I was in a survival situation, would I eat a turtle? Probably so. Now I just have to see where he went. Where he at, turtle? Man, I don't know where that turtle went. Here's some of these springs I was talking about earlier. You can see all that water running out from that mountain. Oh, I found that turtle. I found the turtle, guys. We got us a nice little turtle, guys. This is an awesome turtle. Beautiful. Hey, little buddy. His shell is awesome. We'll let you go, buddy. Today's your lucky day. If I was in a survival situation, a true survival situation, you could be dinner. Be free, buddy. See that snake? If I wanted to, I could kill that snake with a stick. Just whack it right on top of the head as hard as I can, and he'd be done for. There he goes. Well, unfortunately, something just stole my grub, and I do not have any more worms or bait, so... I guess it's time to call it a day. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. I had a lot of fun today, and I was able to catch some fish using only this survival knife right here. I caught two fish, one turtle, and I could have caught a snake. Uh, definitely would have had enough food to eat. Had some matches in this knife right here. I could have built a little fire and uh, cooked it up and had a nice little meal. Also found some springs dumping into this creek. I could have got some water. And worst case scenario, I could have drank from this creek. It's pretty clean. It's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, in the mountains and there's no really pollution or anything like that to worry about so pretty good day definitely successful if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up it'll really help me out if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you drop a comment and let me know if you guys are interested in a survival knife like this i'll leave a link down in the description and you can check it out i really hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for watching fish hawk out